Creating materialized views. This is the syntax for materialized view creation. I don't really want to go into the nitty gritty details of the syntax since creation of materialized views is essentially not tuning other than the fact that creating a materialized view in certain situations is tuning in itself. You need special privileges to create materialized views, namely create any table, create any materialized view, which actually is the same as the query rewrite privilege. Privileges on underlying tables must be granted explicitly as opposed to through a role, the same as applies with PLSQL procedures and use of objects in PLSQL stored procedures. Generally, materialized views apply to data warehouses and in some circumstances with replication. In data warehouses, materialized views are used for aggregates and joins, for query rewrite and faster performing queries, where the materialized view effectively replaces table query access with materialized views if possible when a query is rewritten. Let's go and take a quick look at some examples. And in this case, I'm assuming that I don't have appropriate privileges within my concerts user, so I'm going to go and grant them. So here I'm copying and pasting and granting both the create any table and create any materialized view to my concerts user. I am then connecting back into my concerts user going back to my script and I'm going to create a materialized view which is refreshed using a row ID changed and based on a single table. So anytime that there is a row ID change in relation to the show table it will refresh this materialized view. I can also create a materialized view on a join. In this case I'm using refresh complete which simply re-executes the entire subquery whenever a refresh on the materialized view is either executed manually or as a scheduled refresh. And there's my materialized view created. I've got another materialized view here which actually creates an aggregate and uses the same options as the previous one. The aggregate is the case where I'm actually counting all show IDs and grouping by show ID. So I will actually get a count of all show IDs. So it's essentially an aggregation or summary of the underlying table. This is what the query actually does. And effectively it actually isn't really an aggregation because the show table has unique show IDs. So that's kind of a silly example but I could go and create another one. For instance, counting something else on the show table which I know is duplicated. Category, category ID, and I'm going to group by category ID. So once again, let's go and create another materialized view, and the underlying subquery is actually an aggregation. Well, the previous materialized view was an aggregation, except there wasn't anything to aggregate. This query does have something to aggregate. 